going to take all of us working together to bring about change. All right, if you're ready to change the world, clap two times. Mrs. Obama, that's me. We are here at our Democracy Summit. That's right, when we all vote, first ever Culture of Democracy Summit. All we want to do is support the work in which we've been doing year after year after year in building this community because we have to protect and save our democracy. Democracy first, then the other things get to follow. We realize that we can truly get the message that we want to get across. We are at our community hike for When We All Vote. It is amazing. I'm excited to facilitate this experience. Mm -hmm. We are kicking off the Culture of Democracy Summit this morning. to our democracy and to our children. All those things that we tell ourselves about our country, that every voice counts and every vote matters. Well, if we all do our part, those won't just be things we say, they'll be things we see. a better future for all of us. <laughs> Head to whenweallvote.org to get started. Hi everybody, I absolutely love that song, being from Atlanta, the Migos always gets me going. Welcome everybody to our National Voter Registration Rally. We are so grateful. Uh, to be joined by each and every one of you. We know that you could be anywhere today, but you are with us and we are 50 days away from the election. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm Stephanie Young, the executive director of When We All Vote. Really privileged to run this organization with a number of amazing people, but guess who we have here tonight? The person who started this organization, who founded this organization, who is our co-chair, Michelle Obama. Also, we have Liza Koshi, another awesome co-chair and an amazing co-chair too. Rita Wilson is here with us live. We are so excited to have all of them with us so that we are ready, ready to get to work. Um, one other person that I'd like to mention, we also have Emmy Award winning actress and activist Cheryl Lee Ralph. I'm sure you all watched the Emmys and saw her amazing speech. So we are privileged to have her here with us. I want to give a quick special shout out to all of our partners that are joining us. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing in all of our communities uh, over uh, this week of action, tomorrow's voter registration day. So we have a lot of work to do, guys. Uh, I also want to thank our climate, our partners um, at Climate Power. We just launched a brand new campaign with them, votefuture.org. Uh, it's a, a new hub to organize and help people who really care about climate, especially those young people, registered and ready to vote. Uh, thank you so much, Climate power. Um, so now because it's National Voter Registration Week of Action, which is a tradition now when we all vote, I got it. We got it. You know, we have a big agenda for you. Uh, right before uh, we um, all have to check our voter registration status. So, um, you know, tonight you'll hear from me. Obviously, you'll hear from Michelle Obama. You'll hear from Rita Wilson, Liza Koshi, and you will also hear from our amazing 
organizing team because we want to make sure that you're organized and ready to go. So before we really get into it, if we can go to the next slide, because I want everybody to take their phones out and get ready and check your voter registration status literally right now. This QR code will take you to our website where you can check and make sure you're registered. Because look, if you moved, if you did, if you change your last name, if anything has happened or changed, we need to make sure that you are prepared for this midterm election season. And why don't you, why don't you take a photo and send that to some other people right now? There's a lot to listen to. Uh, I cannot wait to get into this program. So with that, I'm not going to hold out any longer. I want to bring our first amazing guest to the stage, none other than our co-chair, Miss Rita Wilson. Rita. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you? Thank you so much, Stephanie. It's a pleasure to be here along with some amazing women like our former First Lady, uh, Michelle Obama, Cheryl Lee, Liza. I'm honored to be here with you. I wanted to speak a little bit about the importance of not only registering to vote, but voting in its uh, on its in itself. And that is because I'm a first generation American and my parents fought and uh, were adamant about the freedom and the democracy that came in uh, America, came with America and being here. My dad uh, became a citizen of the United States and that was one of the greatest days of his life. And um, the reason he did that was because he was from Bulgaria and he escaped communist Bulgaria and made his way to the United States so that he could have the freedom that was not afforded him when he was growing up in a communist country. And I grew up with that. I grew up really understanding and valuing what it meant to be in a country that was free and going to the polling places with my um, parents and how valuable it was to them to actually vote and how proud they were to do that. Registering to vote, going to the polling places, discussing what it was like to who we voted for, who they, uh, why they voted for those people. And we can never take that for granted ever. My dad every day woke up and he said, God bless America, because he really felt like that. It was something so important to him. And uh, unless you really have understood the oppression of being in a place where your voice is not heard and you don't have any uh, uh, say in what your future can be like, you really don't quite understand the power of a life without freedom and without your right to choose and your right to uh make your voice be heard. So that's why it's so important to me. That's why I'm here. And you know, this, this applies to everyone. Everyone should be voting and using their voices. And if you think about it, it's not just in these big elections like the presidential elections that are important. It really comes down to our own communities as well. You know, votes like who is your chief of police, who's your attorney general in your state, who is the, going to be the um, head of the Board of Education? These decisions have ripple effects on everything that goes beyond that. And it's important to do our own research, um, going to all the candidates' websites, seeing who's out there, seeing uh, who, who resonates with us. And um, of course, we can't do any voting unless we register to vote. So uh, I know for, for us, um, that's been a very important thing. We keep on top of it, especially if sometimes we're going to be traveling and then we get an absentee ballot and we vote uh, if we know we're being out, out of the country. So um, I am just encouraging you all today to register to vote, get a friend to register to vote. And when you can, go out there and vote yourself. I hope that that helps. And I am really thrilled to be here with everyone. Thank you so much, Rita. And thank you for being a co-chair and lending your voice to this very important issue. You are right. 
Um, every election matters, uh, and especially midterm elections. We have so many different candidates on the ballot from the entire Congress, the Senate, I mean, so many people. So you're going to hear um, about more about the midterms and why it's so critically important for each and every one of us to get involved. And who better than our forever First Lady, the one that we look to for inspiration and guidance, Mrs. Michelle Obama. Hi, Mrs. Obama, are you here with us? Hey, Stephanie and Rita, how are you guys doing? How's everybody? Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be here with everyone. Um, Rita, I love you, your remarks are amazing. Stephanie, you know I love you, um, and I'm so proud of you and the team. I can't say it enough. Uh, you are always working to um, make this organization relevant, to get these issues heard. Um, and you are phenomenal, and so is our team. Um, I also want to thank our, our other co-chairs, um, Liza Koshi, uh, who has been uh, just ride or die. Um, and she is an amazing spirit on so many issues, including this one. And we are so lucky to also uh, have with us today the incredible Emmy Award-winning Cheryl Lee Ralph Uff. Uh, uh, I have I've been in her presence just a short time here or there, but her passion and power is amazing, and I'm just grateful that she's uh, bringing some of that to this cause. Uh, I know that she's going to get people uh, riled up, so I'm grateful to all of you. I also want to uh, shout out some of our partners um, who've been involved, uh, folks like the the Divine Nine. Uh, the Rally the Vote Coalition, and of course our When We All Vote chapter leaders, our voting squad captains, and our My School Votes students and educators. Um, I say this all the time, but I mean it. This movement would not be what it is without you, truly, and that's why uh, I wanted to make sure that I was here today, even though I'm not here uh, visually and only here by voice because you wouldn't want to see me right now. <laughs> because as everyone knows, we are just 50 days away from the midterm elections. Um, you guys know that number, but we will say it again and again. We are going to repeat a lot of stuff over this, this uh, call uh, today. This fall, voters are going to cast ballots to decide who represents us. Um, and the interesting thing is that it's going to cover all the bases. Um, Folks who are representing us in Washington, in the State House, in City Hall, on our school boards, you name it. Uh, these midterm elections are important, and sometimes we underestimate that. Many, many people don't even know that midterms matter. Um, but everything from health care to education to climate change uh, to how your communities are policed uh, to the judges who determine the justice that we get, all those things are on the ballot. And I know that each of you on this call, uh, on this Zoom, understands that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here today. Um, but here's the thing. Not everybody gets it. Uh, not everybody is as plugged in as all of us are. Uh, and there are so many reasons why people are not or either choose not to engage. Um, the, the, the reasons are varied and justifiable. Um, folks are tired. Um, some folks don't trust government. Um, others don't really buy into this idea of a shared democracy. Uh, a lot of folks feel let down um, or they feel unseen by this process. Uh, but whatever the reason, uh, what we're left with is this. For too many reasons, uh, especially when it comes to people of color, young people, folks stay home on election day. And that's exactly why we need all of you out there because you understand how important this is. You understand how our democracy works. You know the truth about just how powerful our votes are. Uh, more importantly, you all are the ones who know what's happening in your communities. You're the ones who can walk folks through the 
the through the process of voting and help them understand that a vote can change not just who's in the governor's mansion but the number of potholes we have have to dodge on our way to work or the lessons that our kids textbooks um, teach them at school you guys know that every single vote matters and and if you want a data point just to bring it home about the power of a vote uh, let me tell you, and you can tell other folks about one congressional race in Iowa from two years ago. There were almost 400,000 votes cast, and the winner won by a total of, get this, six votes. Not 6,000, not 6 million, six. One, two, three, four, five, six votes. Just sit with that. I've asked people to do this time and time again because people don't believe that presidential elections, gubernatorial elections are decided by handfuls of votes. But in Iowa, in this one year, and we could go through any congressional district and see the same numbers, six votes. Now think about that. That's, that's, that's your family. <laughs> that's your next door neighbors. That's the group you eat lunch with on campus. Those are the folks you invite over to watch football on Sunday, six people. And that's the, the feeling that you all have to carry with you over these next 50 days. I want you to think about those six people, that if we organize that many people, if we make sure that the folks we know in our orbits that we overlook or don't bother to call or think, well, maybe it really won't matter that my uncle is not registered. I want you to think about six because that's all of our friends and family, neighbors. You don't even have to get to the people you don't know. <laughs> you don't have to talk to anybody who disagrees with you. All you have to do is talk to the folks in your orbit and make sure that they are registered and ready to vote. If we do that, I mean, if we think about every election like that, there's no telling the kind of impact we can have on this election. That's how Barack Obama was, became president, because we delivered this kind of message again and again. People who felt disenfranchised, who didn't believe that a black man with an interesting name could become president. But we encourage people, don't take anything for granted. And we got the first black president in office because of that. We have to continue to think that way. That's how we fight back against the folks who are cutting back our right to vote. It's as simple as that. That's how we silence the folks who want us to believe that our votes don't matter. They want us to stay at home by instilling an urgency in everyone we know about this election. We combat all of that, all of it. I don't care what laws have been passed or what have you. All we have to do is get folks who are eligible and able to vote registered. That's all we have to do. And we're counting on you all to do it. So I'm just gonna ask you to do three simple things for me right now. Some of it will be redundant, but we're gonna say these things over and over and over again on this call and others. First, I want you to take a minute after this call to make sure that you're registered to vote at your current address. Second thing I want you to do, I want you to pull out your phone right now and text six friends, six. Now, if you got more, don't let me hold you back, but start with six, six friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, text them a simple question. Ask them, are you registered to vote? And if you need to, you can tell them about that race in Iowa and every other race out there, that the margin of victory, the margin of losing our right to a, a good criminal justice system, our right to decide what we do with our bodies, the, you know, all of that is decided in these races by handfuls of full of votes. I want you to call your friends, text them, whatever you do, and tell them about these statistics and tell them that voting is no joke. Their six votes could be what determines so much about what happens in our lives. And then finally, I want you to sign up with us today 
to volunteer from now until November, because we're going to need you. You know, as I said before, you know, the folks in your community, you know, why folks are sitting out. They won't listen just to me or Rita or to Cheryl Lee. They will listen to you because they trust you. You have relationships with those people, your grandmother, your aunts and uncles, folks who might not hear, be able to hear things from me. So we need you engaged. And I want you to think about the feelings you've had the morning after the past few elections. Because let me tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. Ele the last few elections haven't completely felt fun to me <laughs> when I've looked at some of the outcomes. Um, and I know that feeling of just, where are we? What is going on? Um, I want you to think about whether you felt good or if you were left wondering if you did enough, whether you spent enough time sending texts or knocking on doors or making phone calls. I want you to think about whether you will have any regrets. That's one of the reasons why I do when we all vote and I continue to do it because I wanna feel like I have done everything in my power, everything in my power to let people know what's at stake so that I can just sleep at night. I'm asking you to ask yourself that question. And I want you to spend the next 50 days doing everything you can to wake up on November 9th feeling proud of the work that you did to get your entire community registered and ready to vote this year. That's what I want you to do. And if we enough of us can do that, then we will feel, feel good on, no, on November the 10th. Um, I know we can do this. We've done it before. We have the resources. We have a sense of ur urgency. We have the organization. Uh, and we have it because of all of you. So I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do not take for granted the amount of hours and time and the sacrifice everyone on this call is making and will make. And I want to thank you for everything you will do over the next few weeks because it will make a difference. It will absolutely make a difference. So with that, I'm gonna turn it back to Stephanie um, and let okay. this show continue. Thanks so much, Stephanie, and thank you to everyone. Have a, great, have a great 50 days. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Obama. Thank you so much uh, for stopping by and giving us those incredible words of inspiration. Um, we know we have a lot of work to do and we are so grateful for your leadership. Um, at the top, helping to push us forward. We have a very, very full program. I'm so glad each and every one of you are here. Are here. I know that there's folks from California, Atlanta, literally every place. Make sure if you have not put in the chat where you're from, please let us know where you are from. We are all over this country. We are a national organization and we want you to be a part of the work that we're doing. Obviously, we are a nonpartisan organization uh, and we want to ensure that you all have all the tools and resources that you need uh, so that you can talk to those six people in your lives uh, to make sure that they're not only registered to vote, but they are prepared uh, to go to the ballot box early uh, in October or on election day and they feel confident in making those decisions. Rita at the top mentioned uh, researching folks. Well, through When We All Vote, you can actually look up your ballot, you can find your polling place, you can do all of those things. I know our volunteers on here know that. I also heard Mrs. Obama shout out the Divine Nine. Um, I'm a proud member of the Divine Nine, uh, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sword Incorporated, but I know that there is everybody represented from Delta Sigma Theta to uh, Zeta Phi Beta to hopefully we have some uh, frats in there as well. So please let us know who you are representing. I also heard that there are some uh, women from the Women's Missionary Society of the AME Church in the chat too. There's so many amazing people people here with us tonight. So I just want to make sure to acknowledge uh, the folks that we have here. And I want to make sure that we're building community with each other. Um, now that we have heard from uh, Mrs. Obama, and we have other obviously special guests coming up. So one of those special guests is our awesome co-chair, Miss Liza Koshi. And she has a very, very special message for us. I will turn it to Liza. What's good, everybody? What's good is this lighting? Oh, no. <laughs> it's our time to shine. It's metaphorical. Also, what's good is you people. What do I mean, you people? 
active members of our democracy, thank you so much for your work. And thank you so much to Stephanie for the incredible introduction. I cannot believe we are finally here. Tomorrow is National Voter Registration Day and also 50, yes, five zero days out to the November 8th midterm elections. I know, y'all know, we have a busy week ahead of us. And I am so excited, grateful, thankful to see all of your beautiful faces here tonight. I just wanted to drop in briefly and send you all the best energy possible as you register these voters this week. Take that. Now, I know this work isn't easy, so I want to thank you all so, so, so much for joining us in this work and in this fight to protect and strengthen our democracy. You know how important you are. You know how important our voices are. Now, let's express it. And if anybody gives you a hard time, you better tell them, A, you seem sad, and a happier future lies ahead if you choose it. Go vote. Thank you to Bo, and thank you to Momo, and I am so excited for this week ahead and excited to get these folks registered. Thank you all for the work, and back to you, Stephanie. Thank you, Liza. Liza is hilarious, and we love her. She brings so much light and energy. I hope you're still going in the chat. Um, one thing that I'm super proud of is our organizing team. They have worked so very hard. They are small but mighty, and they have brought a lot to the table. We have uh, volunteers all over this country who are hosting events, and if you want to host an event this week, you can still do that. There's still time to do the work with us. Uh, and we need you. We really, really, really need you and your support. So with that, I want to introduce our Small But Mighty organizing team. Next up, we have these two powerhouse women, Senior Director for National Organizing, Amanda Hollowell. She's in Savannah, Georgia, just in case you want to know where she is. And our Associate Director of Organizing, Arisa Samani, and she is in Seattle. We are all over this country from literally coast to coast. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, ladies. Thanks. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I am just so excited about tonight. I think for me, just hearing Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Rita and just really thinking about how we connect the dots of really making cultural change a real thing. And so all week, volunteers will host voter registration events across the country. And here's a quick run through of what we're doing here at When We All Vote. So tomorrow is National Voter Registration Day. This is exciting. So you're going to hear video, you're going to see hear or see videos from Mrs. Obama, from Chris Paul, from Liza Koshy, from Bretman Rock, and many more. And then our executive director will be in New York for an amazing event with Argent called Voting Suits You. This is really cute. So it's like with Super Majority and Argent, and they're going to do suits and women and power suits. I love it. It's a thing. So watch our social so you can retweet that and also make sure you're engaged. And then one more thing for tomorrow, we have activations with our partners from Community, Tumblr, and Meetup. So many things you'll see all across social media and your email, radio, whatever it takes. You are going to hear about National Voter Registration Day tomorrow and especially us leading that voice with when we all vote. On Wednesday, the party does not stop. My school votes for those folks who are in high school will be hosting a training. Please make sure you sign up for that. Um, that is very exciting. I love that we are investing in the youth that way and really looking forward to creating future leaders. On Thursday, if you like music, you're going to love this. We've got our beautiful noise concert in partnership with our uh, partner, United State of Women. It's going to feature Brandi Carlisle. It'll be just so important. And this is really great that we're having this moment. Um, we'll have volunteers on the ground. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. You know, I love Georgia, so that's this is like my heart right here. And then also the follow up to that, we'll have a Twitter Spaces conversation on environmental justice, especially focusing and, and giving light to our folks in Georgia, our folks in Puerto Rico. And we're working with our media partner here with Grist on that. And Friday, we end the week with uh, I can't even, I'm so excited. Another beautiful noise concert series, and it's with Alicia Keys. Like, y'all, this is crazy. So again, this is in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, please come by. We're registering voters. We're having great conversations. We're engaging college students um, around that around that city. So this is just a moment, but it's bigger than that. It's a week of action. And we have a fun-filled week for you to get engaged all over the country. And we're going to end the week with a great conversation on democracy with Democracy Docket, and with Ms. Maya Wiley 
um, which is going to happen on Twitter spaces. And this is going to be a conversation on gerrymandering and the impact on black and brown representation. So we've got gerrymandering. We've got registering to vote. We've got concerts. We've got music. You guys can't say we didn't do enough this week because we did more than enough. And you can add to that by also signing up and becoming um, and hosting a voter registration bit in your community. It's never too late to get engaged. And this is just the beginning of our journey in our election. And that's what's really important, right? We're at the week of action. We're going to ramp up the vote. We're going to party at the polls, which I'm very excited about. And then we are at election day. And that is the most important thing that we need to remember. Election day is not the first day to vote. It's the last day you can vote. And so we have all these opportunities, one, to get registered, and two, to actually go out and vote, either early voting in person, absentee ballot person, or voting on election day. So next up, I just really need to talk about the importance of I can talk at you all day long and tell you to get involved, but there are so many ways to do that in an, in an intentional way with um, us here at When We All Vote. So getting involved looks like if you're in high school or a high school counselor or a teacher, joining a My School Votes Club or starting a chapter on that campus or even just learning about the program. Maybe you just want to do more in your community. So this is a moment where you can kind of dig deep and be a leader in your community. And that's what we call our chapter leader program. And those are folks who are hosting voter registration events all across the country in their local communities, mom and pops, big, big organizers. It doesn't matter, but they're leading. And we want to provide you with the training and support to do that. And last but not least, we're partying, y'all. I love a good party. So we've got our Party to a Polls programming happening and launching this week. Basically, we are regranting folks in their community to host Get Out to Vote and Turnout events in their community to remind people that we need to vote now. And we need to vote soon and make a plan to vote. And this is all great information and all things that you can get engaged in. So I can't wait to see my email tick up, our our volunteer-led events start picking up, because these are ways that you can get involved. And to make sure that you are completely ready to participate in this week of action and beyond, I'm going to hand it over to Arisa, our Associate Director of Organizing, who's going to give you this great training on how we register voters the when we all vote way. Arisa? Thank you so much, Amanda. Uh, so hello, everyone. My name is Arisa. I am with the When We All Vote team, and I am here to show you how you can take all of the great information that you got today from Miss Stephanie Young, from Miss Amanda Hollowell, from Miss Rita Wilson, from Mrs. Michelle Obama herself, and turn it into action to make the biggest impact possible in the midterm elections. So let's get to it. We know that election day is 50 days away. And we at When We All Vote are organizing a national voter registration week of action from September 19th to 25th. And as part of that week of action to create the biggest impact possible, we are asking you to join us, to join us in engaging your families and your friends and your communities and your neighbors in this national wide scale movement for change. So here's what you will do. We have three steps for you that we're going to share tonight. Number one, to join our week of action, we need you to brainstorm a date and a time during the week of action where you will register voters. Remember, this movement is for everybody. Whether you are registering voters in your own circle, your families and your friends, uh, or you want to get out in the community like so many of you are doing, almost 150 of you across this country are doing, um, you have a place in this movement and we need you to join us. You can organize a voter registration drive with your place of worship. You can partner with a local community organization uh, like Linda in Illinois, who's partnering with the local NAACP and organizing a voter registration drive that way. You can do something as small as engaging with voters at a farmer's market or something as big as partnering with local organizations on the ground. So that's step one is to brainstorm when and where you will register voters. Step two is to sign up your activity at weall.vote slash NVRW. 
This is a really important step, y'all, because we are organizers. We are strategic. We are measuring our impact. And by signing up at this link, you are helping us measure our collective impact of this movement. So let us know at weall.vote slash NVRW, the who, the what, the when of your voter registration activity. And because we have all the resources that you need to do this great work, we have a step-by-step -step volunteer guide for you to use at weall.vote slash volguide. This is a walkthrough of every single thing that you need to know and to keep in mind when you are registering voters. So if you have never done this work before and you're wondering how to have the conversation with voters, uh, how to plan a voter registration activity, how to use our QR code, um, or even what resources we have. We have all of that in this guide for your use. So please download it tonight. That's weall.vote slash vol, V-O-L, guide. And one of the resources in that volunteer guide that Stephanie mentioned at the top and that I really want to call our attention to is this voter registration portal. So let's take a minute and let's talk about this voter registration portal. Uh, you've heard about it a couple of times tonight, and I really want to underscore how important of a tool this is. Uh, our tool is at weall.vote slash voter. And you can also use this QR code. Go ahead, use the QR code and pop in the chat and let me know if you're able to check your registration. This tool will allow you to check and update your voter registration. It will allow you to register to vote. And perhaps most importantly, it will allow you to receive timely reminders about election dates and deadlines and completing your voter registration. If you start this form and you don't finish, you will be hearing from us. And that is because we are interested in getting every single eligible voter in this country registered and ready to vote. And because of this tool, 83% of the people that we registered in 2020 turned out to vote. So that is what this tool is about. And we're gonna show you what it looks like on the next slide. When you have scanned that QR code, the page that you go to will look like this, and we will prompt you to check your voter registration before registering to vote. So please use this link in your work. The link is weall.vote slash voter. All right, friends, let's talk about a few things to keep in mind before I give you your marching orders. Number one, when we all vote is nonpartisan. We are not interested in telling voters who to vote for or what to vote for. We want every single person in this country to make their voices heard. So please remember that when you are engaging with voters on the ground as an ambassador of this organization. Number two, Use that tool that we mentioned tonight. Help voters register themselves at weall.vote slash voter. And remember, guys, the reason why I'm telling you that this tool is so important is that it will remind people to complete their registration, to get out to the polls, to make their voices heard. Use it because it is a powerful tool for change. And the last thing that I want you all to keep in mind is to please follow all state, county, local election guidance when you are registering voters. If you live in a state that only uses paper forms, you need to follow the processes outlined in your state. All right, folks, so nonpartisan dialogue. We're using our online voter registration tools to make the biggest impact possible. And we are following all local election guidance. With that, let's go over our marching orders. Number one, every single person on this call is going to sign up to register voters with us during the week of action at weall.vote slash nvrw um, if you can like mrs obama said go ahead make the goal to register six people to vote at your event all right 
Number two, download our volunteer guide at weall.vote slash vol guide to get all of the step by steps that you need to do this important work. And lastly, let us know how it goes. Report back to our team because we are organizers. We measure our impact. All right. So report back. Let us know how many folks you registered. Let us know the learnings from your work on the ground. Because remember, you are the best person to do this work. You are an organizer. You are a change maker. You and your the collective impact of your action is going to change this country and transform the world. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And I know we have another exciting special guest. So with that, I will hand it off to Stephanie. Stephanie, over to you. Thank you, Arisa, and thank you, Amanda, the double A's that work so hard. They power our organizing team. I just thought about that. It's super corny. But we love Amanda and Arisa, and we're so grateful for the work they're doing. So it seems like everybody's about to host a voter registration event. Um, please let us know in the chat where that event will be. Let us know what city, what state. We want to know where you're going to get involved. And let's just make sure that we're still texting people. Now, for one of the moments you've really been waiting for, we are so incredibly blessed, lucky, however you want to phrase it, to have one of the stars of ABC's hit show, Abbott Elementary, Emmy Award winning actress Cheryl Lee Ralph. Cheryl Lee Ralph has become a staple in the entertainment industry and an acclaimed career spanning over three decades, not just um, on our screens, but also on Broadway as the original Dina in Dreamgirls. She's a national best-selling author and an acclaimed producer. And while working in front of the camera, she, uh, she keeps busy, uh, but she's also passionate. She's a passionate health advocate, um, an honored AIDS activist. She's also founded Diva, Divinely inspired, uh, victoriously anointed, okay, I need to be a part of that, foundation, which she created in memory of the many friends she had lost uh, to HIV AIDS. We are so grateful to have Cheryl here with us. I also know that she is a devastating diva of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, um, so I will show her some Greek uh, love and one of my favorite movies. I've known her for a very long time since Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda, and since <laughs> <her> act two. <laughs> Literally one of my favorite movies, and obviously uh, Mo, uh, the mom uh, on the Moesha sitcom. So, Cheryl, we are so grateful for you being here tonight. We love your T-shirt. Listen, my T-shirt says it all. It we need everybody to vote. Like you heard me say the night of the Emmys, I am an endangered species. But I sing no victim song. I am a woman, I am an artist, and I know where my voice belongs. And with that voice, I know how important voting is. I'm an immigrant's child, and my mother would always, she and my dad would take me to the voting booth with them because they said, this is how you make your voice heard. Your voice is heard when you vote and participate in the governance of the United States of America. And I want everybody to understand, every time you say, my vote doesn't matter, what you are really saying is, I don't matter. You do matter. Your vote matters. Please register to vote. If you are an 18-year-old high school senior, I need you to pull six of your friends aside and tell them we need to register to vote because we've got to be included in what happens in this nation. And some students have been in schools where you didn't have up-to-date books because somebody didn't vote about it. Listen, right now, in these next 50 days, get your voice ready. Oh, whatever it is you have to do, get that voice ready to put it where it counts. Talk to your friends, your family, and get ready to V-O-T-E, vote.
Well, thank you. If you are not inspired by Ms. Shirley Ralph, I don't know how to inspire you. If you're not inspired by Michelle Obama, I do not know how to inspire you. If you're not inspired by Rita Wilson, I do not know how to inspire you. And our incredible team at When We All Vote, uh, I hope that you are filled tonight knowing that you are literally the answer. You are yes. what we've all been waiting for, uh, and it is time to get to work. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us from around this country, every organizer, every voting squad captain, every chapter leader, every member of the Divine Nine or any Black church. I, it doesn't matter who you are. We're just so glad that you are here with us and you've chosen your civic engagement home to be when we all vote. And we are in this with you from now, literally until Election Day and beyond. And then we'll be getting ready for 2024. So there's so much critical work to do tomorrow, guys, though, tomorrow is National Voter Registration Day. Okay, I repeat, National Voter Registration Day. So we got to do all that we can. You can't let tomorrow go by without asking uh, someone in your life to get registered or signing up to host an event. And so we we're getting our number. We're, we're hovering over 150 events all around this country. Let's try to get it up higher. I know that we can do that. Um, with your help and your support and hosting event could look like anything from going to brunch with a couple of friends to actually hosting uh, an event to register voters. So it's it's up to you what this looks like. And the biggest thing at When We All Vote, we want it to be easy. We want it to be impactful and we want to help push you along the way. So with that, I want to thank each and every one of you yet again for being here. We couldn't do this work without you. Have a great night. Stay safe and let's register some voters. Thanks, guys. Bye.